Hey, I'm AJ. We're here in Selleck, one of the dorms here at UNL. It houses a lot of international students because it's open during the breaks. Me and some of my friends decided to move in here so that we may share Jesus. I'm Noah Watson. I'm a senior this year and I'm a finance major. My name is Luke Burns. Uh, I'm a religious studies major and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm James Young, a senior biosystems engineering major. I'm Ronald Van Donk. I'm a senior actuarial science major. Well, life in Selly. Um, well, it's pretty good. Dealing with the international students, I mean, what else could you want? Uh, you get to learn about their culture, they, you get to teach them about our culture. Throughout scripture, God's heart is really for the nations. We saw that the world was coming to us and the world was living in Selig. What's cool about Selig is you don't have to travel anywhere to like find the nations because they're all here like in one central location. So if you want to meet someone from China or someone from Russia, or Japan, um, even the Middle East, I've met people from Oman and Yemen. So altogether there's probably around 25 or 30 nationalities. I mean, it's like a missions trip right here in America. They come to you. <laughs> By living um, in the dorms, I think it, it gives you some power with the way you live. You know, you can live the gospel just by being different than, than the world and attributing that to not yourself, but God. You hang out with them, play a board game with them from time to time. I don't really want to go in. <laughs> it's good to get to know a little bit about what they believe first and be more of a listener. And then talking about religion comes pretty naturally. It's actually easier to talk to them about uh, the gospel than it is to talk to an American about the gospel many times. Before school started, I uh, met a Chinese international student. His name was Chris. I eventually got to share my faith with him. He decided to give his life to the Lord. He went with me to May event. That's one of my God's hands for my prayers, just to not worry that I can make an impact. I met a Chinese student uh, near the beginning of the semester. His name is Dennis. One of the cool things that I got to do with Dennis over the, over the break is uh, Dennis actually got to stay with my family, just experience American hospitality and hear the story of Jesus for the first time uh, because it's Christmas time. Um, and the first thing he said to me in the car after you know, hearing, hearing the Christmas story was, I didn't understand anything. So throughout the course of a couple days, worked our way through what Jesus did. I don't know how much has gotten across yet, uh, but I was able to give Dennis a Bible, give him Ron's Bible, and... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. I think... <laughs> the most important thing uh, when laboring together is being a brotherhood. A lot of times we'll meet in Ron and James's room, and we'll leave the door open, we'll have uh, the Bible out. Talk to each other about how life is going, struggles, vulnerabilities, and then encouraging each other in our ministries. And sharing prayer requests. Something that we consistently pray for in Selig is just patience. Even when you're unmotivated to share the gospel, you kind of are given opportunity after opportunity just to befriend people and push your limit in terms of your energy and, and really make you rely on God and God's strength and God's power. Laboring along the lost, the hardest part is just getting yourself to start the conversation. Talking to someone like Hey, can I talk to you about Jesus? <laughs> that is the hardest part. Once you can get past that, it's easy going from there. We pray for the ability to be the initiator. A lot of times, I know you can psych yourself out by thinking, I don't know enough scripture, I'm too shy to talk to people. But you'd be surprised like how easy it actually is to interact with other students. It's not just being in an international dorm. It's, it's kind of having a new way of looking at the world. They're, they're open. It's a matter of, are we open?